Hi friends, in today's video, I'm gonna make a 4 channel IR remote relay switch using AT Tiny 85 microcontroller. This circuit can be used to control 4 different devices with any IR remote. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. As we know, IR Remote uses different protocols to send the data. The most common protocol is NEC protocol. The remote I have also uses NEC protocol. When we press a button of the remote, it sends out data from IR transmitter. This data is then received by IR receiver and decoded by the microcontroller. And a specific task is performed by the microcontroller. The received data is consists of an address and a command. As you can see, we are capturing the remote data in the oscilloscope. As you can see, we are capturing different buttons and different commands. So first we need to receive and decode the commands of the buttons that we are going to use. For that, I'm gonna use Arduino and an IR receiver. Now let's do the connections for this setup. First, I'm gonna connect Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect IR receiver and connect its pin number one to pin D4 of Arduino and it's pin number 2 to ground pin of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 3 of IR sensor and its other pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino. Now let's upload the IR receiver get command code to the Arduino. Now open the serial monitor and make sure the baud rate is 9600. Now press the button that you want to use the data will be displayed on serial monitor. Now copy these commands. Now to make a 4 channel remote, I'm gonna use AD Tiny 85 microcontroller. As a lot of my friends requested me to use AD Tiny 85, so I'm using it in this project. First open Arduino IDE and then copy this URL. And go to file. Then select preferences. Now paste the URL here. Then go to tools and then go to boards. And then select board manager. Scroll down and install AD Tiny. Now if you go to tools and go to board and scroll down, you will find AD Tiny microcontrollers. To program AD Tiny 85, I'm gonna use Arduino as a programmer. Now go to tools, then go to board and select Arduino Uno. Now go to tools again and go to port and select the port of your Arduino. Now go to files and then go to examples and then go to Arduino ISP and select Arduino ISP. Now upload this code to Arduino. Now let's do the connections of AD Tiny 85 microcontroller with the Arduino programmer. First connect Arduino. After that, connect AT Tiny 85 microcontroller and connect its pin number 4 to ground pin of Arduino, its pin number 8 to 5 volt pin of Arduino, its pin number 1 to pin D10 of Arduino, its pin number 5 to pin D11 of Arduino, its pin number 6 to pin D12 of Arduino, its pin number 7 to pin D13 of Arduino. Now open the AD Tiny 4 relay IR receiver code. and paste the copy commands here. Now 
then go to tools and then go to boards and select 80 tiny 85 now go to tools again and select your Arduino board. Now go to tools again and go to programmer and select Arduino as ISP. Now click on upload. Then the code is uploaded to 80tiny85 microcontroller. Now let's do all the connections. These are all the components we're gonna need for this project. First connect AD Tiny 85 microcontroller and connect its pin number 8 to 5 volt and its pin number 4 to ground. After that connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its 1 pin to 5 volt and its other pin to ground. After that connect IR receiver and connect its pin number 1 to pin 3 of the microcontroller and its pin number 2 to ground and its pin number 3 to 5 volt. After that, connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number one of the microcontroller and its other pin to 5 volt. After that, connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number three to ground. After that, connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin two of the transistor and its other pin to pin two of the microcontroller. After that, connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its anode to pin number 1 of the first transistor and its cathode to 5V. After that, connect a 5V relay and connect its one coil pin to pin number 1 of the transistor and its other coil pin to 5V. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of LED and its other pin to 5V. After that, connect a 2-pin terminal block and connect its 1-pin to normally open pin of the relay and its other pin to common pin of the relay. After that, connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 3 to ground. After that, connect a 10K resistor and connect its 1-pin to pin number 2 of the second transistor and its other pin to pin 5 of the microcontroller. After that, connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its anode to pin number 1 of the second transistor and its cathode to 5V. After that, connect a 5V relay and connect its one coil pin to pin number 1 of the second transistor and its other coil pin to 5V. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 1 of the second transistor. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of second LED and its other pin to 5 volt. After that, connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to normally open pin of the second relay and its other pin to common pin of the second relay. After that, connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 3 to ground. After that, connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 2 of the third transistor and its other pin to pin 5 of the microcontroller. After that, connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its anode to pin number 1 of the third transistor and its cathode to 5V. After that, connect a 5V relay and connect its one coil pin to pin number 1 of the third transistor and its other coil pin to 5V. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 1 of the third transistor. After that, Connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of third LED and its other pin to 5V. After that, connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to normally open pin of the third relay and its other pin to common pin of the third relay. After that, connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 3 to ground. 
After that, connect a 10k resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 2 of the 4th transistor and its other pin to pin 5 of the microcontroller. After that, connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its anode to pin number 1 of the 4th transistor and its cathode to 5 volt. After that, connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to pin number 1 of the 4th transistor and its other coil pin to 5 volt. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 1 of the 4th transistor. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of 4th LED and its other pin to 5 volt. After that, connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to normally open pin of the 4th relay and its other pin to common pin of the 4th relay. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to ground. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of LED and its other pin to 5 volt. So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.